Hey guys, it's Ted here. What's going on? Just got version 2022.23.03. Let's get at it. So the biggest thing is really the pet mode. I like how they did pet mode and not dog mode in case you have a cat or a hedgehog or something. Uh, basically, it keeps the cabin comfortable based on the temperature that you choose. So when you leave the vehicle, if you need to pick something up, you can leave the pet in the car. Um, new front camera view. I actually like this a lot. So basically, when you park and you um, change gears, it will automatically toggle um, the the view of the of um, uh, the the front or for front or rear camera, and. Um, like it's, it just removes an extra f finger uh, finger method. Adjust cabin lights. Now you could adjust the intensity of the lights, which I which is kind of cool. You know, I don't think I've really seen a car do multi level like that. They took out the energy app from the vehicle menu, so basically they added um, something in the dock instead of having it in the vehicle sub menu. Then. You can actually leave, once you're in off-road mode, after you leave the vehicle, it will um, stay in off-road mode, which I think is pretty helpful, especially if you're going on a hike or something, you don't have to wait for the truck to raise suspension and adjust all that stuff again. Um, proximity locking, this is actually pretty good because the last update, it was it was like unlocking too, quick, too quickly, I suppose is the best term for it. Um, they lowered the pedestrian audio alert. Yes, that's not bad. It's not it's not as bad of a hurricane noise. Um, improved cooling when you enter a hot cabin. I have noticed from the app it is uh, better when I when I cool remotely from the app now. Uh, I I never really had any um, issues with auto high beams. It looks like they improved car wash mode. Again, didn't really have an issue. Enhanced color accuracy for the cameras. Okay, better Bluetooth stability. Also didn't really have that problem. Um, ah, yes, there, there was a bug where the accent lighting, which is right over there, was resetting and turning off. And I would have to toggle it back on. Again, first world problems, not really a big deal. Never had an issue with SOS. It, it was, um, uh, it worked, it worked pretty well. <laughs> Unfortunately, my son tried it out. It worked really well. Then, let's see here. Yeah, I didn't really have any of the, uh, any of the issues that they were discussing there. Um, yeah. So, one big thing actually that I do appreciate is here, now instead of going to, defroster mode you can actually turn on this windshield vent passively and I think this is pretty important because um, in the situations where these vents are blowing too hard you don't want to blowing directly at you uh, having it go via the windscreen vent it kind of like goes around and it's able to hit your head and it's just a it's a nicer even flow then this is the pet mode we were describing. We could turn on pet comfort here. Then we can go ahead and we can set a temperature and there's a little paw mark there and that's what it's going to maintain the temperature at. Pet comfort turned off, very friendly. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you for watching. Please consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you on the next one.